All right, so y'all know that I like to ride my electric skateboards, electric scooters, electric bikes, and all of those things, well, they do require some protection, especially when you're talking about e-skate. But when it's cold, what do you do? You gotta strap your pads on outside of your pants and your jacket and all that kind of stuff? No, that's that's no good. So armored pants, armored hoodies, that is definitely something that is useful for somebody like me. Today, we're looking at a company called MBT Clothing. They mainly make stuff for motorcycles, so if it's good enough for a motorcycle wreck, it's gotta be good enough for this. Well, let's check it out. Welcome to the Vapor Trail channel. I'm Tony. Yeah, today we're looking at some clothing from NBT Clothing. You know, I think they're mostly motorcycle targeted. At least most of their ads are and stuff, but we connected through social media. I started talking with them and I was like, you know, these things would be great for electric skateboarding and for e-bikes and all that kind of stuff. So why not? Let's check them out. So they tossed in an extra set of crew socks here. You got a two pack of crew socks. Got some compression stability in here and stretch technology. They look, uh, they, they seem like there's some really nice solid socks. And then we've got the Aramid pants in black. Now these are their license to ride pants and it's the Aramid edition. They have them without the Aramid. Aramid is like Kevlar. It's the lining that you see in a lot of this protective gear that you wear. It prevents it from tearing and it prevents you from getting really scraped up if it goes through the outer layers of the, of the product. And then we've got a hoodie in black. Okay, so this is a pullover hoodie. I do already have a armored hoodie, but it's a zip up one. So this is a pullover. So that's kind of interesting. That'd be cool. The pants are what caught my eye though. All right, these pants are pretty cool looking. On the website, it says these pants feature our game-changing tensile tough lining woven with aramid five times stronger than steel the same fiber that stops bullets tethers space shuttles and armors helicopters we've created gear that belongs in a bond movie it says it's the holy trinity of protection style and comfort reinforced anti-abrasion aramid lining straight slim fit to keep you looking good spandex for a stretchy and comfortable fit removable CE armor to keep you safe they're made with premium 11 ounce denim and have dual stretch comfort Perfect combination of anti-abrasion protection, riding comfort, style, and affordability. The tensile tough technology engineered with 100% aramid lining in knees and glute area. Reinforced stitching and includes free knee and hip impact armor. Yeah, a lot of times when you buy these things, it does not come with the actual armor. You got to buy that and add that to your purchase. And you're like, oh, so something that was like $115 is now 200 bucks. Well, it's included at CE approved knee and hip armor. Elastic accordion panels above knees and lower back. Two cargo pockets with two snap buttons and a YKK zipper. They also offer free shipping and they do offer a 100 ride guarantee instead of standard 30 day return window where you can't wash or wear the clothing. Your NBT order has a 100 day no no questions asked guarantee. If you decide that they're not up to the job, just send them back and we'll give you a full refund, even pay for your return shipping. So the free ground shipping is for orders over $100, which if you're buying this stuff, it's probably gonna be over a hundred bucks. The pants do come in a bunch of different colors. They have black, denim, slate, bronze, olive, and khaki. And the price on these pants is $228 but you will find some sales from time to time if you follow them on social media. Now I haven't tried them on or anything like that, so what I wanted to do is kind of go over the features on the website, take them out of the package, show you everything as I see it for the first time, and then after I try them on and ride with them, I'll combine all that and put it all together in one video for you. Let's go ahead and open up these pants here. I do like that they come in a Ziploc type bag. Just an extra added touch instead of just some cellophane or something. All right, so these are your knee pads. There we go. Yeah, these are nice. And then for your glutes or your hips, a little bit thinner pads, but that adds to the comfort. Wow, even the tags are nice. Got your tensile tough right there, explains the tensile tough thing. And then we got your tag. I got size 36. I usually wear 34, 36. And then this little kind of rubberized tag says over 60% of motorcyclists ride unprotected. We're changing that statistic. One piece of MBT clothing at a time. Our mission is to help every rider stay safe and look great by seamlessly blending style, protection, and comfort built for the journey and the destination. HK type B. Like I said, these are made for motorcycles. So if these will work for motorcycles, boy, they should work great for an electric skateboard. So you can see that expanding area right there. I guess that's spandex, denim. Yeah, these are nice and thick. All right, so they're double button. You've got that button there and then a snap and then your zippers. Yeah, okay. That is some nice thick aramid there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the aramid material. It's much nicer than the mesh that you'll see in a lot of them. All right, so there's an inner pocket right there. Another concealed pocket there. 
You have your cargo style pockets here on the sides. Then you've got another expansion area, which is great because on an electric skateboard, you're going to be you know, moving a lot. You want the pants to be able to move with you, so that's cool. And then this pocket right here is for the pads, which I'm guessing maybe that's what these are for as well, for these pads right here. I'll have to figure all that out. Belt loop and tag all in one right there, or you can just go right over it if you want because there's a belt loop right next to it. Nice little metal logos on the back pockets. Then you can see where this pad is going to go in here. That is nice and thick. There is a nice covering over the pad itself. Let's put one of these pads in here. And there we go. So the pads go in from the outside, which is actually kind of nice because you know, maybe you get to your destination and say, all right, I'm going to take the pads off. Yeah, fit in there nicely. All right, so that is your front pocket. So I'm guessing that these are where you'll insert these. Yep, perfectly shaped for that, so good. Okay, so moving over to the hoodie. This is a big package here. The package for the hoodie is actually bigger than the pants. Right off the bat, it's a nice feeling, comfortable feeling hoodie. And they've already got the pads installed inside, so that's even better. Because sometimes it can be a real pain in the butt to try to get those pads in there. Same pads inside of here as what you see right here. I'm not going to take them out because they've already got them in there and I, I like that. Nice big back pad. Oh, it's even got a loop for hanging. I like that. But yeah, it's a, that is a, it goes from there to there. It's your whole back. You've seen these before. Got their logo here on the front and the same tags as we saw on the pants. This hoodie is called the Bodyguard Pullover Hoodie. It says, we've taken the casual look at the classic hoodie and gave it a complete moto upgrade. Protect against slide with our Tensile Tough Aramid reinforced lining at the elbows, shoulders, and back to pop in your free elbow, shoulder, and back armor. They're built to last with heavy duty stitching, but soft to the touch cotton exterior and polyester interior lining for extra comfort, ride and look like a boss. And it is, it's really, really comfortable. That's one of the things I had to go look at the website again for, because I was like, that just, it feels really nice and soft. Just a regular hoodie made like this would be nice. And the lining on this thing, ooh, that it, that's soft. There you go, so you can see where the pad is here on the inside. And yeah, it's got a big pocket right here, that's where you put it in. There's your pad right there. It isn't yellow like this, but it is the same thickness and, and uh, I guess the same protection rating. So since we've gone through all that, I'm going to try them on. I'm going to give it some ride time and then we'll finish up this video and give you all my final thoughts. So this is really nice clothing. The pants, they don't look like they're very stretchy, but they definitely have some stretch to them, especially in the waist area. And at all of those stretch points, it's got that kind of accordion type stretching stuff. That is very, very helpful. The company is also very good about sizing. So if you have any questions while you're in the ordering process, you can contact them and they will, they'll give you some advice. And if when you get it, it doesn't fit, they will swap it out for you, no problem. The extra pockets on those pants, even when it comes to the button on there, you got a snap and then you've also got an actual eye hook type of, you know what I mean, a regular button. The hip pads I kind of feel would be nice if they stretched around the backside of your hips a little bit to your buttocks, <laughs> you know. But they do protect your hips and if you're gonna fall, you usually kind of end up on the side anyways. Now those hip pads I think are level one and then the knee pads are level two. I like that you can put the knee pads in from the outside, that is really cool. Most armored clothes you've gotta go in from the inside side and all that these you just pop them right in so if you you know want to wear the pants after you get to your location you just take those knee pads out and you know put them in your backpack or something my waist size is usually 34 or 36 these ones I ordered as a 36 which meant that the legs are a little bit longer so I was concerned that the knee pads would not fit onto my knees and at first they didn't I didn't realize there are actually two pockets inside of the knee pad compartment, one to go lower and one to go a little bit higher. When I moved them into that higher position, they fit just perfectly. I would kind of like to see something with the enclosure portion of it at the top of where you put the pad in there, either Velcro or a button or a zipper or something like that, just to make sure that that flap doesn't come up and the pads come out. But you know, maybe that's just wishful thinking and I don't know if they could really do that. Now they have two different versions of them. These are the Aramid line. So the Aramid is basically like Kevlar. And that extra lining in there gives me a lot of security because, you know, if you if you get a good crash, you're going to tear those pants up, especially if you're on a motorcycle, right? So again, if they're good enough for motorcycles, they have to be good enough for this. And because the legs are a little bit longer, I just rolled them up. No big deal. And last, as far as the pants go, they're quite warm. I don't know. I you know, haven't worn them in hotter weather, but they are pretty warm, which is great when it's cold outside. 
And usually when it's not cold outside, I'm wearing shorts and I'll just have pads on. As far as the hoodie goes, I've got another one that's a zipper hoodie. It fits pretty good, but this one, man, it just, the way it fits, it feels so good. And the hoodie itself is a really high quality hoodie. Even if it wasn't an armored hoodie, if I take out all the armor from it, it's still it's something I would use. I do prefer a zipper hoodie over a pullover. I was kind of curious when they said they'd send along the pullover hoodie. I was like, all right, well, let's see how this goes. But I, I like it quite a bit. Very, very comfortable. It's got the shoulder pads in here. It's got a huge back plate and it's got elbows as well. So man, you know what? I could wear these pants and this hoodie and not have to worry about anything. I live in the Outer Banks of North Carolina and not only do we have cold, but we have wind and that wind chill, man, and the feels like temperature here is usually in the winter 10 degrees colder than it actually says on the temperature gauge. So yeah, having stuff like this is really, really nice. I don't know, maybe I'll wear those pants in the summertime. I'll try them out. Now they have other products as well. Like I said, they have another version of the pants that doesn't have the air mitt in it. They've also got a flannel and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, check out their website. I'll put the link down below. And I do think I have a discount code for you. The one thing I do want to stress is if you, especially electric skateboards, but the scooters definitely, and the bikes, for sure. Please, please, please wear protective gear, whether it's this type of thing or traditional pads or whatever. You got to wear that stuff, man, especially the helmet. Overall, great job on these clothes, NBT. I really appreciate you sending them over. And since Punk's a tiny Phil just said we're going to have six weeks more of winter, I'm going to need them. Again, I'll have a link down in the description, and I'm pretty sure I have a discount code for you as well. Hey, I want to thank you so much for your support here on the channel. It's been around since 2013. I've been doing e-mobility, uh, electric skateboards, scooters, and bikes for about a year and a half now. I'm maybe closer to two. It's just something that I have a huge passion for. I'm just, I'm, I'm a geek. I love my electronics. I love my electric stuff, electric guitars, that, which I'm going to have some new content coming up with those. And if I get what I'm looking at getting, this guitar is, oh man, it is awesome. I'll definitely be showing you that here on the channel. Also solar generators, solar panels, and all that kind of stuff. It's just all stuff that I have a passion for. And that's what I will share here on the channel with you. And I thank you so much for your support. Don't forget, I do have a thanks button down there if you want to click that and send some monetary support for the channel. I appreciate that. And I will give you a shout out here on the channel. I also have links down there for my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you have one of those, I'd appreciate a follow. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll catch you next time on the Vapor Trail channel.